Philippe was telling me yesterday that you and met through here through and then here and started then, the French Chamber yeah, of, of Commerce. Of Commerce. Together, yeah. Is it the French Australian? Or? Yeah, French Australian Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, another networking sort of thing. Yeah. Out of a networking thing. Which yeah. Is, and what, what's the main thing that you get out of here? Is it coaching mm. and mm. mentoring mm. and also uh, being able to create a, a network of colleagues? Mm -hmm. Uh, that you can bounce ideas with mm -hmm. and uh, using the facilities such as a boardroom. Mm -hmm. And what's and your business? So my business is uh, we help Australian companies to uh, export to Europe, mm -hmm. meaning to France and Germany. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we have um, a team in France and a team in Australia mm -hmm. and uh, we specialize in the IT sector, in mm -hmm. the medical sector too mm -hmm. and uh, in uh, high-tech products and mm -hmm. solutions. Mm -hmm. Um, so we, we find the overseas clients for mm. the, the, the company that mm. um, uh, we are taking care of mm -hmm. and we manage the negotiation and we finalize the deals for them. Mm. So how do you go about finding the, uh, the innovation to export? Do well, people come to you or you find them? Or? Well, sometimes they come to us, mm. um, but uh, also we select them mm. because we have uh, mm. an idea of what are the products um, that are in demand in yes. Europe, mm. uh, so we also select them mm. and approach them directly, telling mm -hmm. them we think we have an opportunity for you, yeah. and then we work with them to mm. get that going. And you came out to Australia with this business in mind, or uh, were sent out here, or...? No, I, I came uh, to Australia as a choice and then mm. I decided that mm. it was the right time to start this business that mm. I had in mind for a couple of years. Mm. So. So it was a business opportunity that kept you here, or it was the lifestyle, or...? Um, I think it was a, a personal choice, mm. um, and uh, including the lifestyle. Mm. Um, but now, um, mm. well, developing my business is obviously... Mm. Uh, so what's the advantage of having here? I mean, you've already mentioned the colleagues and having people to yeah. ideas off and well, have a boardroom. Well, it's... I'm also using um, the coaching services from the Northwest Business Development Centers. Mm -hmm. So initially, when I set up the business, um, uh, I participate in a program called the Young Business Accelerator Program. So mm -hmm. we're um, a group of uh, 40 young entrepreneurs mm -hmm. to participate in a program. So that's, mm -hmm. I guess that helped me getting uh, all the systems and mm -hmm. all and my strategy right from the start. Mm -hmm. And that also probably explains why the business has been going well. Mm. And uh, and then after that, um, I've moved on to a more uh, coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching approach. Uh, mm -hmm. I currently have a coach mm -hmm. um, that I can uh, exchange ideas mm -hmm. uh, with um, about my strategy. Mm -hmm. And um, I also present uh, on a yearly basis um, mm -hmm. my my strategy to a sound sounding board. So. Mm -hmm. Um, the Northwest Business Development Centre puts a panel together and I'm mm. presenting to them the mm -hmm. strategy. How long have you been doing all that? <clears throat> so that's my uh, third, year third year of business. So as a virtual client, do you have yes. um, a limited period of that or do you, is that ongoing forever? It's, it's uh, ongoing. It's yeah. you, your choice mm. um, to actually be a virtual tenant or mm. a virtual business or... or mm. um, Mm. Moving, and moving. Have any idea on how long you might keep that arrangement? Um, at the moment, I don't have any mm. um, specific goals. It's not mm. in my business priority to have a shop front. I'm not a retail. I'm mm. a service mm. business, so I'm mm. very much focused mm. on my clients. So, so it's probably going to suit you forever. Yeah, it nice could thing. suit me forever. Yeah. yeah it's fantastic. So and how does the future look? Sorry. How, how's business? And yeah, business is going good. Yeah, because I'm I'm uh, focused in um, mm. highly innovative industries, mm. so um, mm. and the medical industry, and that's mm. still um, going well. And it's recession proof. Industry. Yeah, it's recession proof. Mm. It is, and also businesses that are exporting are mm. also more recession proof than mm. other businesses because they mm. diversify their risk. Mm -hmm. So they um, mm. they are usually solid um, mm. businesses. Mm. 
That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, we'll leave it there then. Thank you very much, Christelle. <laughs>